So I've always wanted to make a rocket-powered skateboard, and although I'm quite far off with the solid-state rockets, I wanted to try propelling with CO2. So in this video, we're going to pressurize this with CO2, and we're going to make a gas thruster rocket. Let's get started. Alright, let's unscrew the top. Since we're using dry ice, we're just going to put it directly in the chamber. I have my water bottle here with some dry ice in it, and we're just going to fill it up. This small tank can hold around 3 pounds of dry ice. Alright, we've filled the cylinder, and as you can see, it's all frosty. We have the dry ice level to about right here, and we're going to shut the lid. We have all this extra dry ice right here, so we're just going to push it into the sink and make some smoke. You can see there's some dry ice floating on the surface, that's interesting. There's vapor coming out, which means this dry ice is sublimating inside the tank. Let's screw the lid on. You can hear it hissing a little bit. The reason I use an oxygen tank is these are actually rated to 2000 PSI, and the dry ice will only pressurize this to around 950 PSI, so it's well within the workable range. You can hear them rattling around in the tank. Now I'm going to run it under hot water so it heats up a little bit. In a minute, the solid CO2 will start turning into a liquid, and there'll be chunks of CO2 in the liquid CO2, and it'll sound like it's sloshing around. Wow. Listen to this. Now you can hear the CO2 sloshing around in there and the chunks of dry ice. All right, we have our liquid CO2 in the tank and when we open it upside down, we should get a little jet out. Yep, let's test this out on the skateboard. Ready? No way, bro. What the fuck? That was actually pretty good. Holy. Oh, shit. Okay. 